Hello Internet, and welcome back to Ash Wednesday. I know it's been a minute, and I appreciate your patience. This year has just been super hectic. I'm sure you can relate. So while I don't really typically celebrate Thanksgiving, it marked a really awful time for indigenous people in our country. I do eat food, and I do try to be thankful for the things that I have. I try to be thankful for the things that I have almost every day, but you know what I mean. So this week, I thought that I would take you on a journey through my closet and show you the things that I already have that are some of my favorite pieces. So the room that we're standing in right now is sort of the middle room on the top level of the house. It was supposed to be like an office slash sort of small bedroom with no closet. I don't know. We ended up turning it into a walk-in closet because we don't have a lot of storage space in the rest of the house. So yes, we are back in the closet and I'm going to take you through some of my stuff. So one of my favorites is this one dress that's from Hell Bunny. One thing that I love about wearing different outfits to different events, memories can attach themselves to different pieces of clothing. Last year, I had the honor of vending at Midsummer Scream, and I got to meet Christine McConnell, and she said that she really liked my dress. So that was a really special moment for me. One jacket that I have that's really important to me that I actually got last year was my Burberry coat. It is the one piece of designer clothing that I own. So, so of course it's black. I will actually post a photo right here so you can get an idea of what it looks like on a person. Every once in a while I do like to treat myself to a little something out of my budget and last year this was that thing. Um, I really like the sleeves on them because they look like little bat wings and it was just so different from anything else that I'd seen in designer fashion, in like popular fashion. So it was definitely something that was different that I knew that I would wear. Another one of my favorite accessories is something that I got from Foxblood, and I think it's pretty obvious um, what that would be. It is my trademark hat that I am literally always wearing. They, they really hit the nail on the head with this one, and I just, I love it so much I wear it almost every day. One of my favorite new pairs of boots, fairly new, one that I definitely have to share. They're from the brand TUK glow-in-the-dark spider webs on them. I actually did not know that these glowed in the dark until I got them and I put them on and I was in the bathroom and I just walked in there to do something real quick without the light on and they glowed and it was a very very <laughs> pleasant surprise. Another pair of shoes that I really love are also to UK. This pair of pointed buckle creepers from TUK that have Beetlejuice stripes on them. I also have these in just plain black, but when I saw that they had a striped version, I absolutely had to get them. Another pretty random thing that is a favorite of mine is this one long sleeve velvet shirt that I have. And the reason that it's one of my favorites is because it's long sleeved but the shoulders are open. I just, I have such a weakness for shirts and sweaters like that because I do have a tattoo on my forearm and I do like to show the top of it off when I'm wearing t-shirts. You only get to see the bottom half of it, but with these, which I don't wear as often, you do get to see the top of the tattoo, which is really beautiful. Also, I have a hanger on it with a couple different variations of the same harness because I love it so much. I have an orange one for Halloween, I have a pink one for Valentine's Day, and I have a white one for sort of like the holidays, New Year's. All of these are made by Jenny Machete. If you are looking for a cool business to shop from this Black Friday, I will have her shop link in the description below. Another pair of shoes that I honestly don't wear super often, but I really love are these pink velvet creepers from Strange Cult. I really love that they kind of mix two aesthetics, creepy and cute, which I am a huge fan of. 
So speaking of articles of clothing that I don't wear often, but I think are super, super cool and I want to wear more of is this outer dress piece that was designed by Brett Manning and is sold exclusively at Die With Your Boots On. On that same note, I do have one other piece to mention. I also have this skirt that was designed by Bats in the Belfry and is sold exclusively, again, at Die With Your Boots On. It has pockets, it's super cool. Uh, my partner has a button-up shirt with the same design so we can match when we want to. It's just an all-around good time. I know that didn't seem like a lot, but I think that's all I'm going to do for this round. I am thinking that I'm probably going to do this again. I am also in the process of trying to clean out my closet. It's not exactly the way that I want it to be, but I wanted to be able to post something and kind of give you an idea that I'm not dead. If you are interested in my sense of fashion, I am starting a Depop. I have a couple of pairs of shoes coming and I do have a couple of hoodies and other various clothing items that I'm going to be putting up there in the next week or so. If you want to check out my Instagram, a wee bit spooky, I will be posting about Depop shop updates there as well. All of the links will be in the description down below. I really appreciate your patience as I've been just trying to navigate 2020. It has been really wild in some of the best and worst ways. And again, if you like my content, please consider subscribing. Make sure to wash your hands, wear a mask, and of course, stay spooky.